Bob, you're a skull. You're you're not alive anymore. Maybe maybe you can relate to how I'm feeling right now. I just I don't know how to put into words. You know, after reading this book, I just feel I just feel dead inside. What's up, everybody? My name is Brad, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're here for a book review. <laughs> and oh boy, what a book we have to review today. Now, I know everyone and their cousin has already said their piece about this book, put their opinions out there, and reviewed it. I wanted to give my two cents on it as well for what that's worth. Probably only two cents, if that. But I still wanted to give my opinion on this book. I did read it a little while ago. I'm just now getting around to doing the review for it. Let's go ahead. Let's waste no more time on this. Let's dive right in. But, so have you ever just sort of sat down, leaned back, and stared off into space and just sort of wondered, how did I end up here? How did all of my prior decisions coalesce into this particular moment in time? What am I even doing with my life? Those are the sorts of questions that were swimming through my head when I read this book, Dead Inside by Chandler Morrison. So when I got done reading this book, I was literally sort of at a loss for words when I wrote my Goodreads review and for some reason, this is my most popular written review on Goodreads that I've ever done. I don't know what that's supposed to say about anything. And I usually try to keep it PG on the channel, you know, for the kids. But this book, it was just absolutely f All the way to the end. Did you catch all that? Okay, so never ever in my life have I read a book so vile, sickening, grotesque, disturbing, appalling. Do I need to continue? I think you catch my point. At least I hope so. This book is not, all in capital letters across the screen, this book is not for everyone. And honestly, I don't really know who it is for. I know some people have given it five stars and they seem to have really loved it. That's cool. That's their opinion. But for me, this book, it was not for me. I didn't have fun at all, for the most part, reading this book. Now, we'll give credit where credit is due and admit that there were some darkly humorous, and I mean darkly humorous, moments interspersed throughout the book between these shockingly graphic just in your face moments that did make me chuckle maybe once or twice but i still didn't have fun with the book overall if that makes any sort of sense but i will give credit chandler morrison he did hit those comedic moments on the head he does have a bit of comedic timing which relieves some of the pain of reading this book i guess you could say so those graphically shocking moments i just spoke of yeah those I felt like the entire sole purpose of the book was to shock and awe a scorched earth policy. It felt like each scene was constructed to be more shocking and draw dropping than the last one you just read. And if that was the author's intention, then he succeeded on all accounts, give him his gold medal. All of these shocking moments are brought on by our two protagonist unusual cravings, you could say. One is a hospital security guard. I don't even remember, honestly, if it said his name in the book. But he's a hospital security guard who has taboo sexual desires. The other one is a maternity doctor who has appetites for things you won't find on any restaurant menu, at least no restaurant I've ever been to. Uh, but these two characters, these two social outcasts, their lives intertwine, taking their personal perversions to all new, just unfathomable levels of extreme. So you may be thinking to yourself, Brad, if you didn't have fun with this book, and the subject matter was as disgusting as it sounds, why did you finish it? Good question. It was almost like watching a car crash victim being scraped up off of the side of the road. It's not something you want to watch, but you can't bring yourself to avert your gaze from it. But to answer the question, it was the writing that kept me going, had me needing, did I really need to? Needing to know what was gonna happen next, what other atrocity can the author throw our way to top what he has just done? The writing, even though the subject matter was completely deplorable, the writing is what kept me going on. It's far from the best writing I've ever read, but it's also very far from the worst writing I've ever read as well. The prose, it was streamlined, it was clean, it was witty at times, and that's what kept me going on until the end. If the writing would have been any less than what it was, I definitely would not have finished this book. It would have been on the DNF pile for sure. Utterly bleak, dark, depraved, and deranged. Dead Inside by Chandler Morrison is a love story. Can we even call this a love story? I don't even know if these two characters were even capable of a thing called love. 
about two people way off in the darkened shadows at the very edge of societal norms coming together to change each other for the worst, I think. Usually when I don't enjoy a book, I still recommend you try it out for yourself and form your own opinions, but this time around, in good faith, I cannot recommend this book to people. If you are into extreme, and I mean extreme, all capital letters across the screen, sexually explicit horror, and think this kind of sounds interesting and want to give it a shot, go right ahead, but don't say you haven't been warned. For me, honestly, the only saving grace about this book was the writing, in my opinion. And based off of that, I am sort of still interested in checking out other works by Chandler Morrison, hopefully with different subject matter. I know he has a Splatter Western coming out soon. I really enjoy those. Hopefully his will be enjoyable as well. But that's it. That's been my two-star review of Dead Inside by Chandler Morrison. Actually, I gave it two stars when I wrote my written review, and I think now I've sat on it for a while. I think more it's one and a half stars. Still rounds up to two, but it's basically the same thing. Uh, but Dead Inside, Chandler Morrison from Death's Head Press. If for whatever reason that sounded interested to you, be my guest and check it out. But know you've been warned. But that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you for spending your time with me. Again, my name is Brad. I'm going to go take a scalding hot shower to cleanse my sins after reading this book. And probably have a salad afterwards, but I'll keep the bacon on there. That's it. Thank you all for spending your time with me. Again, my name is Brad. I'll talk to you later. Bye.